Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have a updated election map according to ABC News. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. According to ABC News, Trump has criticized the Biden-Harris response to the storm and spread misinformation about the federal government's recovery efforts and assistance. According to ABCNews.com, he thinks that's going to flip Democrat voters toward him or it's going to entice Republican voters who weren't looking to vote to vote for him or independents that weren't looking to vote to vote for him because he and Elon Musk set up Starlink and got trucks, gasoline, food, water, and supplies to the people in the hurricane areas such as North Carolina before the federal government ever set foot in them acting as if they did not care. This is where the ABCNews.com source comes in. The polls show a close race between Harris and Trump. Let's fill in that map according to ABCNews.com. Everyone trusts ABC News after the debate, don't they? Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. ABC News' source is 538's website, by the way. So 538 is a source of ABC's statistics. If you are angry at these results, blame 538. Do not blame us. We're just citing ABC and their source 538 for these results. <laughs> Forgot to make that disclaimer, but that's okay. So... Alaska with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, according to this, it says the latest polling averages from 538, according to ABC News, showed two candidates running even in key swing states, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. So Nevada, according to ABC News, according to 538, is a toss-up state. It will not be colored in on this map. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, according to ABC, according to 538, Trump has a slight lead over Harris and Arizona, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with five electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the second district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris, making Nebraska at large red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Okay, let's see this. Hang on. Reading our source, it says Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes and Michigan with 15 electoral votes. According to ABC, according to 538, Michigan and Wisconsin, Trump and Kamala Harris are tied in both. Therefore, they will not be colored in. Iowa with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with 9 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. And Georgia, when it comes to Georgia, let's see. It says, according to ABC, according to 538, Trump, meanwhile, has a slight lead over Harrison, Georgia, giving Georgia 16 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. South Carolina with 9 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina with 16 electoral votes, according to ABC News, according to 538, show the two candidates running even in key swing states such as North Carolina. Therefore, North Carolina is gray. It will not be colored in. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Now, Pennsylvania is going to be interesting because Pennsylvania, according to ABC News, according to 538, the, it shows the two candidates running even in key swing states, including Pennsylvania. Therefore, Pennsylvania and its 19 electoral votes is gray. It will not be colored in. 
New York, with 28 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Maine, the biggest part, M.E., is red for Donald J. Trump. The district of Maine, the smallest one on the bottom right, is blue for Kamala Harris, making Maine at large, AL2, blue for Kamala Harris. New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris. That makes the big winner of today, drum roll please, Donald J. Trump is ahead. 246 electoral votes to Kamala Harris is 226. There's a 20 electoral vote difference. That's only because Donald J. Trump won this one because he won in Georgia and Arizona. That's the only reason why he won this election map with the one, two, three, four, five states not colored in, being Nevada, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina. So right now, Donald J. Trump is winning, but let's fill in this map in a different way. Wisconsin, give that to Kamala Harris and see. That would give her 236 to Donald J. Trump's 246. If she wins Michigan, that would give her 251, putting her in the lead. If she wins North Carolina, what would that give her? That would give her 267. And then if she wins Nevada or Pennsylvania, that would give her what? That would give her 273, which you only need 270 to win, 